mine. And I want to thank you, Prophet, for bestowing this honor on me to share with the participants in the prayer room. I honor the Lord tonight because I know it is His grace and it is His grace upon my life that is allowing me to do this. I love to serve the Lord. I love to wait upon the Lord. I love to hear from him. I know that this is a word from the Lord for all of us. I am included in this message tonight. So I want to invite all of you to pray with me now as we look to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bow down your ears, O oh Lord, to hear us tonight. For your house is languishing. We have not kept up with you when you have given us everything for us to succeed. Lord, we honor you tonight with the fruit of our lips and with our lives. Every single person on this line tonight readies his or her heart to come in compliance with what you desire. Let thy will be done. Let thy kingdom come. Thank you for this privilege tonight. Lord Jesus Christ, let your word multiply. Let your word spread. Let your word be effective in the nation and in the nations. Take all the glory, Lord. Take it, Lord, for it belongs to you. I want to speak to you tonight on the necessity for speed. Last week on Friday night, we dealt with ungodly delays. Tonight, we are dealing with the necessity for speed. Jesus said this to the religious people of his day in the book of Matthew chapter 16. He says, when evening comes, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning, today will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. I want us to make a declaration tonight, a declaration. Let us say it together now. Oh God, teach me to interpret the signs of the times. Oh God, teach me to interpret the signs of the times. The signs of the times are all around us. They press into our consciousness and into every facet of our lives. But seeing the times and interpreting the times can be miles apart for most of us. The days in which the church exists demands strong discernment on the part of its leadership and followership, its membership. Without strong discernment, the church can easily slide into stagnation, deterioration, and apostasy. Without strong discernment of the times, the church can easily lose its focus and stumble from its place of growth and development and become just another institution having a worldly agenda. Tonight, I want to speak to you about the necessity for supernatural speed. The necessity for speed. In the context of where I want to go tonight, what do I mean by speed? Let me explain it a bit. It is the rate at which someone or something moves or operates or is able to move. It means to hurry. It means a race, run, sprint. The race at which, the rate at which an object covers distance. 
how fast something happens. It means very fast movement, haste, to proceed or, or to cause to proceed rapidly. Now, let me list some of the opposing words. I was shocked when I, do, when I did the research to see how many opposing words there were to speed. It was just quite an amazing fact to me, and it should be to you too. Listen to them. They are slow. The opposite of speed is slow. Slowness, retard, to drag one's feet, linger, loiter, delay, take one's time. It means to lag. It means to dally. It means to de-accelerate, have time, walk slowly, tarry, crawl, drag, hesitate, drop behind, wait, plod, to break, laugh in stock, anguish, easy does it, slow walk, waste time, procrastinate, waste time, sluggishness, kill time, fritter time away, lethargy, idle stall, potter around, deliberateness, hold your horses, creep, lateness, proceed in a leisurely fashion, go at snail's pace, while away time, dither, play the waiting game, mark time, to check, remain, stay, halt, stall, hold up, shrink, vacillate, unwind, fluctuate, grovel, saunter, cringe, hum and haw, blow hot and cold, act slowly. Did you hear those words? Tonight, God wants me to expose the lie under which many of us have been operating. My God, the things of God are moving at snail's pace while the world is accelerating and moving with great speed. It must change. Say that with me. It must change. Believers, it must change. Child of God, it must change. Prophet and apostles, it must change in Jesus' name. Cars are going faster. Washing machines are washing in less time. Ships are going faster. Trains are moving faster. Food is being cooked faster. What about my church, says God? Who told you to move slow? Who told you to dilly-dally? Who told you to cruise and saunter? Twiddle your thumbs, putter around, hold your horses, crawl, halt, creep. Who told you to fritter time away? Look at David in the house of Saul. When the terrorizing demon was on Saul, young David had to make a speedy escape or he would have lost his life from a flying javelin. He would lose his life. The demand for speed is to save your life. Did you hear what Prophet introduced this session with tonight about the hit list that is out for God's men and women? Everything demands speed. It is to save your life. Speed the demand for speed is to save lives. Look at Abraham's servant, 
going to seek a wife for Isaac. On his journey, he prayed, send me good speed, O Lord, this day, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. That's a prior to pray when you are seeking a mate, if you have not gotten one already. Don't wait until you are old. Do not do it while you are old or getting to be very old. Do it now when you are young, when you can enjoy your spouse. Do it when you have bounce and pounce. Do it when you can be active together in the work of the Lord. Do not delay. Ask for speed. Abraham's servant asked for speed and God granted him the speed that he asked for. As soon as he got to the well, the girl was waiting. My God, my God, what about you? Ask for good speed. Hallelujah. You see this thing that I've gotten? I have been asking for good speed in everything, in all the good promises God has given me. I know God is not tired to hear me and God will not be tired to hear you. This is a word for you to activate now. It is not one to park. It is not one to put in a drawer. It is not one to put into the case of your Bible and to forget. It's a demonstration of the things of God. It's a demonstrative word to be activated so that you can be on God's timetable. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the speed of God in dealing with Queen Vashti and Esther. Vashti lost her place and Esther was right there to slip into that place. God pulls down one and sets up another. It is God's business. Vashti was called into the presence of the king to do a simple act. But she was all about doing her own business. Do you know some people who come into God's house and want to do their own thing? They can't do their own thing at, 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 on the job, but they want to come into Father's house to do their own thing? You are going to find your place and you are going to find yourself outside the camp like Vash Vashti. Who am I talking to tonight? You must learn to understand and receive the instructions of your husband. Woman of God, God has not called you to disobedience. God has called you to function alongside your husband. You are a help meet, you are not the head. In the church and at home, I am a help meet, so help me God. Thank you, Jesus. I do not want to be fasty at my age. I do not want to be outside with my suitcase. I want to be as Esther in the palace. Say with me, I want to be. Ladies, come on, this is your part. I want to be in the palace as the queen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So let us say to Vashti tonight, go ahead Vashti and make your foolish mistakes. Not listening to your husband, not listening to the king's instructions. Yes, go ahead and foolishly throw away your husband and see how speedily someone will take him in. My God, this happened right before my very eyes in church. As the woman moved out her husband, my Lord, my Lord. No, no, she did not move out her husband. She moved out and left the husband. And when she was about to move in back to take up the husband, the very day somebody else was moving in before my very eyes. That was a swift movement. Oh God, who am I talking to tonight? This is a woman who has gone through a lot of things. Listen to me, women. Keep what God has given to you and do not make the mistakes that Vashti made. The mistakes of others in this season will pave the way for you to rise speedily. God works. 
in mischievous ways. Quotation marks on the word mischievous. Hallelujah. He knows how to do things. Oh God, let me be as Queen Esther and rise speedily to the palace. Say that with me. Oh God, let me be as Queen Esther and rise speedily to the place and to the palace. Do you want to be in a position? Say, oh God, let me rise speedily into the position you have promised me. Divine speed and divine ascendancy. Esther was given her things for purification speedily. I told the folks on Sunday that no man wants any woman to rely on him for everything. And no man wants a woman who is not put together properly. There are things to ask God for to ready us to be a true bride, to be a wife or a husband. Ask God for the things of purification. So that even if you don't look good, when you get these items to purify you, when you get these graces, you will look beautiful. I have seen ugly women look beautiful, my God, in a short period of time. There are things in this season to add on and to take off. Just make certain that when you're, you're going speedily, something don't drop off. Put it on good in the name of Jesus. There are things to add on to make you look good. What am I talking to tonight? Hallelujah. Praise God. That was for somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask for the things that complement you. Things to make you look beautiful. Hallelujah. That all you are now. Read Esther 2 when you have time. Hallelujah. My God, look at David again in fleeing from the insurrection of his son Absalom. In the book of 2 Samuel 17 and 16, it says, Now therefore, send quickly and tell David, don't delay in the plains of the wilderness. Speedily pass over, speedily run, lest you be swallowed up and all the people with you. God is saying, speed up your actions up. Move quickly. There are those that are seeking your life. This is a word from God. There are those that are seeking your life. And it is your speedy movement that is going to cause you to escape. Hallelujah. I take what prophet has said seriously. Glory be to God. Psalm 31, 2 declares, Bow down thine ear to me, deliver me speedily. Psalm 69, 17, And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Zechariah 8, 21 declares, And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will also go. Don't go into the prayer room sauntering, dittering, holding back. Go with expectancy. Go speedily in the name of Jesus. Go speedily as if God is waiting on you. Go because this is the season for it. My God. I have used those scriptures to show you that God is a God of speed and that he expects you and I to also move with speed. Who am I talking to tonight? When we operate in the natural, we often rely on the limit of our physical strength or attribute to achieve a goal or a set target. Supernatural speed is when God transforms the physical abilities of a man or a woman and gives us the capacity to perform beyond natural expectations. There are seasons in my life, purely God. He comes in and works on my natural ability and makes it supernatural. 
my God, my God, I know it is so with some of you as well. Supernatural speed, supernatural speed. Oh God, empower me. Say with me tonight. Oh God, in this prayer room. Oh God, empower me with supernatural speed so that I can get things done for your kingdom. Oh God, empower me with supernatural speed so that I can get things done for your kingdom. My God, God will answer that prayer. God has been waiting on you to pray this prayer. For him to act. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Do not, do not take things at the face value. Ask God to let you see behind the scenes and what is happening in this hour. This is a time for speed. Do not let COVID-19 shut you down. This is a time when God wants to lift up the believer. To lift up the church of Jesus Christ. When others talking about downturn, you should be talking about upturn. When, God, when the world is talking about slowdown, you must be talking about acceleration. Hurry up. My God, my God. My God, my God. I feel it in the pit of my stomach tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord is sending you this message tonight. He said to you, stay in the company of those who know speed. If all of your friends are on go slow, what does that say about you? Madam, sir, what does that say about you? Say with me tonight, I have entered my season of divine speed. You're in the prayer room tonight to encounter the God of speed in the name of Jesus. An encounter with the God of speed. Hallelujah. I declare divine acceleration over you. I declare that you will break through limitations. I declare that you crush speed killers under your feet. I gain momentum in my career. Say that with me. I gain momentum in my career. I, I gain momentum in my business. I gain momentum in my finances. I gain momentum in my marriage. I gain momentum in my church. Oh God, I gain momentum. Oh God, deal with every obstacle that comes to slow me down. Oh God, give me supernatural speed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give me supernatural speed. This is not the speed to send up your blood pressure or to make you go into anxiety and panic attack. It is not speed to make you kill yourself with the workload. It is not the type of speed to make you jump onto a roller coaster called life and end up being burnt out. I am not talking about you overextending yourself and stressed out as a result of participating in too many things. No, it's not that. I am talking about divine speed, the targeted response and movement of alacrity in doing God's business. Hallelujah. You must position yourself for speed. Hallelujah. Position, saints of God, position yourself for speed. In the month of January, we positioned ourselves in fasting and prayer, two weeks. So when COVID-19 dropped, we were not among those who were panicking. My God, position yourself for speed. What do I mean? Number one, hold your head straight. If you have to put on blinders, like how they do it to the horses at Cayman as Park. In your nation, you know where the horses run. So if you want to see the ones that are going to win, they put on the blinders. They're not going to look to the right or to the left. God told Joshua that. Do not look to the right or to the left. Keep my word in your heart. Look 
forward, my God. Look straight ahead. You can't expect to have maximum speed and have your head in other people's business. Your head is turning to the right, it's turning to the left. No, 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 not so in this season. Keep your head straight. You intend to run the race and you intend to have maximum speed, you hold your head straight. Number two, keep your goal in front of you and speed towards it. You know what you have. You know what God has given you. You know the, the, the goal post. You see it. You keep your eyes on the goal. Don't mistake movement for progress. Somebody sent me a little video sometime last year of this child. When the child got the baton, the child started to run backwards. Instead of going ahead, he turned and went the other way. Don't be as that child. Hear this woman tonight. I said, some of you going backwards. Decide tonight that that backward movement is going to stop. Jesus. And don't say it's not you. Ask God to correct you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Don't take the baton in your hand and run backwards. I am being very plain. Run forward. Somebody is depending on you to take the next leg of the race. You are not going to be here forever. Man and woman of God who want to hold on young people in ministry, you won't be here forever. Somebody has to take the baton out of your hand. And it's better to hand over the baton than to drop it on the ground for somebody to pick it up. Can I talk more plainly? It's better to hand over the baton than to drop it. Hallelujah. Don't take me down that road. Number three, overcome sin patterns. This is how you position yourself for speed. Overcome sin patterns. Overcome demonic activities that come to distract you. Overcome unfaithfulness. Overcome wrong associations. And overcome delay. Years ago, I had a vision that I was leading an intercessory group up to a mountain. A very long line. We were, we were going in a single line. And I was the leader going up in front. And one man said, look behind you. And when I looked behind, three quarters of the line was, going, was coming behind me. They were in tandem with where I was going. But when I looked further backwards, I saw a part of the line detached from the main line going forward. And when I looked more closely to see what caused this interruption of the line, do you know what I saw? For every step some believers were making, there was a demon under their legs, right between their legs, right here. So instead of making a step forward to be with the other intercessors, the demon was taking them backward. So instead of going this way forward, the demons were leading them backwards. So they were detached from the main line going forward. My God, my God, it frightened me. I jumped straight out of that vision. I said, Jesus, have mercy on me. What sort of thing is this? Intercessors, it can happen. That is what is happening in our churches with some of our prayer groups. One, one plank of believers and intercessors going this way and some going that way. Demonic activity, taken over by demonic activity. It's not every movement, it's progression. My God. Can I say that? It's not every movement is progression. Glory be to God. Now I want to point you to a man who outran a king's chariot and the king's horses. How can a man outrun a horse or horses for that matter? A horse can run three to six times faster than a man supernatural speed how could the prophet 
run and sustain that running and at that level of speed had it not been that God was with him. Let us look at 1 Kings chapter 18. And let me pick it up from verse 41. It says, And Elijah said to Ahab, Go and eat and drink, for there is a sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, bent down to the ground, and put his face between his knees. Get a new paradigm. Fix your heart on what God is doing. If you want answered prayer, you must adopt a new prayer posture. This was Elijah's prayer posture, putting his head between his knees, blocking out all the distractions, and saying to himself, God is between you and me. Three and a half years now, there has been no rain. It is time for rain. Give the people a demonstration that you are with me. Give the people a demonstration that as they have repented of their sins, you are now turning back to them. My God, my God, who am I talking to? My God. It says, meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose, a heavy rain came on, and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. The power of the Lord came upon Elijah, and tucking his cloak into his belt, he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. The prophet burdened up his loins. God is saying you can't run with speed without dealing with the hindrances around you. Whatever is loose around you, tie it up, bind it up. God has need all of you oh, to be speedy. My God, in this hour, guard up the lines of your mind. My God, the ability to run with speed. The ability to run with speed has to do with your mind. Harness, control, dominate your mind, dominate your thinking process. Put on the helmet of salvation. My God, my God. Oh God, say that with me. Oh God, grant me courage and fortitude of mind to run swiftly for you. Take control of your mind. I have the mind of Christ. Oh God, give me the supernatural, mental, physical strength to outrun my detractors and enemies. Oh Lord, give me double barrel speed like Elijah. Oh God, give me double barrel speed. My God, my God, my God. Have you ever driven a souped up Subaru? My God, my God, my God. Horsepower. You're going at 90 miles per hour on the highway and you hardly feel it. Supernatural speed. Oh God, give me double barrel speed like Elijah. Approximately 20 miles to Jezreel. Supernatural speed to outrun the chariots and horses. Supernatural speed to outrun Ahab. My God, the man of God and powerful anointed feet. Oh my God. Hey, touch your feet now. My God, anointed feet to outrun your enemy and your detractors. Oh God, anoint my feet in this hour to run with speed. Horsepower is no match for God's power. Oh my God. Oh God, grant me enduring stamina, grit, determination. Oh God, grant me resilience to run the race. You have set before me. Maximum speed is what God requires in this hour. Maximum speed, like an arrow shot out of a mighty bow. Oh God, position me and shoot me out with speed to hit the bull's eye. Hurry up. 
Your slowness in this hour is detrimental to your vision. Rain is about to fall and you must get into position. Ready, set, get into position. Oh God, grant me agility. Oh God, grant me vim and vivacity to run to my destiny position. I will not be caught unprepared. Get ready. My God, have you seen when Usain Bolt is going to run a race? The preparation takes place long before. Get ready. Set. God told you to wait. Okay, I hear some of you. God told you to wait. So five years after, you're still waiting. So who am I talking to? You don't think that you could go back to God and ask God if the instructions change, especially when you see nothing happening. You're still waiting. All right. Continue. I say speed in the name of Jesus. Elijah had to outrun the chariots, the horses, and Ahab. Men are trusting in chariots in this hour, in this season, to give them speed. But you, my people, put your trust in God, the God of speed. Put your trust in the God of speed. Oh Lord, grant me supernatural speed to outrun laziness, doubt, fear, ignorance, and excuses. Oh Lord, energize me. Put power to my feet tonight. Listen to me tonight. What if I don't show up and my enemies show up before me? Don't you realize that it is he who stands in the gate who will possess it? It is the person who gets to their destination on time. First, first to get to the post, first to take up watch at the gate. It is that person who will rule. It is that person who will have the upper hand. If you get there late, you will be left behind. Take up your position, run speedily so that you can go to the gate first. Because when you stand in the gate, you will get authority to rule. Everybody else come under your dominion. Yes. <laughs> oh, hand of God, come upon me and grant me speed. People of God, the clouds are growing dark. Look in the spirit realm and see what is on the horizon. It is what is on the horizon where God has come tonight to give you speed. Speed takes away the struggle, the start and stop, the hesitancy, the nonchalant behavior, the dormancy. Speed bridges the gap in achievement. You need speed to recover the wasted years that have gone before you in life. You have wasted too much time already. My God, you need speed to recover the wasted years that have gone before Things that your parents should have achieved but didn't. They dropped the ball. But now, spiritual knowledge is coming to you tonight. You must access speed. Ask for speed. For some of you, what took your parents 50 years to achieve will take you in a short period of time. My God, my God, you put the time there. Is it three months? Is it one month? Is it a week? Is it a year? It took them 50 years. Speed. One investment. One investment. One investment. Attracting the speed of the Holy Ghost can cause you to earn more than all your relatives put together in one minute. One minute. Let that sink in. One minute, one investment, attracting the speed of the Holy Ghost. Who am I talking to tonight? Or you think that is for the rich people in the country? Put your name there. You're dealing with God. You're not dealing with man tonight. 
my God. It is time to outrun. To outrun means something or someone is contending with you in the race. It is a contest and speed matters. Do you think that you are the only one running? It's not you alone. The fact that the Bible put it here, Ahab was outrun by Elijah. Elijah knew that he was not the only one in the race. Elijah outrun the horses. He knew he had to do it. He was not doing it for style. It cost him something to run at that speed. My God, my God, who am I talking to tonight? Speed matters. Elijah ran ahead. Is that in your Bible? Yes. Elijah ran ahead. My God. Hallelujah. Eh, satire bakata. Shebebebebe satire. Sebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Let's see who should rule. You are in a contest of life. And you know why some of us are not winning? Because we take a position that God has not given us. Speedily, overnight, Aaron's rod, bud, blossom, and bloom, and bear fruit. Do you hear me? Speedily, God settled the matter. Settle the matter. Speedily. Who am I talking to tonight? Who has God given me that message for tonight? I'll just drop that one in there. Speed to reap the souls of men. Speed, swiftness in executing what God wants done. Speed, running freely without encumbrances. Speed to ex expedite the work of God to bring him glory and honor. God releases his mighty angels speedily. God's word run speedily, swiftly. The Holy Ghost came speedily. The Holy Ghost came suddenly. My God, speed to confound the demons of darkness and to leave them behind in the dirt. Speed, the plowman overtaking the reaper. Speed, the treader of grapes overtaking the one who is sowing the seed. Speed, receiving hinds feet to scale the new heights of the spirit. Speed, you are no longer running with footmen. Speed gives you authentication that God is fighting for you. Speed is what governs the realm of spirit. Speed is what you achieve when you train yourself to let go of staleness and dormancy. Speed is what you get when you break limitations, when you break barriers. Speed is what you get when you step into another dimension. Oh God, give us lightning speed for kingdom advancement. Take it profit from me now. In the name of Jesus. Rashatan da rabagadesa mandebo satakate. Rakata rabagade rabaga rabagade rabaga raba. Rasete kete rabagaza manda rabagade. Rose kete rabagada rabagadesa. Rasanda rabagade balai. Reshata rabagade baba sata rabagada. Rase kete marabagada rabaga. Reshete rabagada rabada baba baba baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against everything that wants to make me slow. I come against the spirit of slowness, the spirit of retard, the spirit that causes lingering and loitering and delay. I come against that spirit that says take one's time the spirit of lag the spirit of deceleration the spirit of dilly dallying the spirit that says i have time the spirit of slow walking the spirit of the snail the spirit of the tortoise i come against tarrying and crawling and dragging and hesitation i come against drop behind i come against weight i come against plodding i come against that spirit of laughing stock and anguish that spirit of easy does it i come against slow walk and waste time and procrastination in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against sluggishness. I come against kill time. I come against the spirit of frittering time away. I come against lethargy and idleness and stalling and pottering around. I come against deliberateness and hold your horses. I come against creeping and lateness. I come against proceeding in a leisurely fashion and snail pace. I come against playing the weight game and marking time and checking. I come against staying and halting and holding up and shrinking and vacillation and and and, and humming and and blow hot and cold and and come against acting slowly in the mighty name of jesus every demonic power that have been released against us from any altar that has been causing us to go slow in the mighty name of jesus i come against you right now those spirits of slowness from our ancestral background those spirits of slowness from the marine kingdom those spirits of slowness from the kingdom of fire those spirits of slowness from the kingdom of hell those spirits of slowness from the astral world those spirits of slowness released against us from incantations and 
spells and enchantments, those spirits of slowness released against us because of demonic liabilities, those spirits of slowness released against us because of demonic chains and prisons, Manda Brokoshte Karagada, I command right now the fire of the Lord right now to strike every chain. Oh God, arise right now with the sword of fire, with the lightning power of your spirit. We come against right now everything that is causing us to lag behind. Father, my God, everything that is preventing us from running, everything that is preventing us from sprinting, everything that is preventing us from moving with haste, from moving rapidly, everything that is preventing us from running speedily. In the name of Jesus, I come against it right now, and I command right now that every chain, every heavy shoes, every heavy garment, everything that has been hindering us right now in the mighty name of Jesus, be broken. Come on, put your hand on your loins and begin to pray in the spirit. Mantebo shataragada, rashatagada, resoto brokote brakata rabababa, bandarabagate rabagatea, resoto brokote brakata raba, rashatandereba, resati katarabagada. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this hour, I receive discernment, strong discernment for the times, strong discernment for the season. In the name of Jesus, I command the speed of the Lord to locate me. I command the speed of the Lord to come upon my legs, to come upon my loins, to come upon my bones. I speak strength into my muscles. I speak strength right now into my nervous system. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command divine speed and divine ascendancy to come upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, those things, Lord God, that is necessary for the purification of your people, for the cleansing of your people, so that they can step into a season of speed. In the name of Jesus, I command right now that your children, Father my God, will enter into the room of purification. Mighty God, some of us, we have on too much weight, too much weight physically, too much weight spiritually. I command right now rapid weight loss in the natural and in the spiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every demonic weight that has been put upon us, whether in the natural or in the spiritual, break right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every heavy load, loads on the mind, loads on the soul, load on the spirit man. Right now, break right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command those demons and those powers of darkness that are seeking my life and seeking your life to put an end to the fulfillment of your purpose in God. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against those spirits right now, and I command lightning to go forth from the throne of God. I command lightning to go forth from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. I command lightning right now to arise in the realm of the spirit. I command lightning to arise in the brakatekete, rashatagada, resoto brokote kataraba. I command lightning power to arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, rashekete. I command the heavens to be wet with lightning. I command the heavens to be wet with the fire and the power and the anointing of the Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command the clouds of heaven right now to be angry against every demonic hit list. Makategete, rashinderebogosa, rekandaragada, rekasataraba. In the name of Jesus, those things that are seeking my life cannot catch me. Every evil enemy that are seeking my life to overthrow me and to outrun me. From tonight, I say you cannot catch me. You cannot catch the people of God. You cannot catch us tonight. In the name of Jesus, I said you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot catch us. You cannot catch us. In the name of Jesus, I said you cannot catch us. I break your power right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command muscle contract on our enemies. I command their ligaments and their muscles to be torn off their bones. And I decree tonight, in the name of Jesus, that every demonic vehicle that has been assigned, every demonic motorbike that has been assigned, every demonic airplane that has been assigned, every demonic animal that has been assigned to run me down and to overthrow me, 
tonight you have failed. You have failed in the astral realm. You have failed in the marine kingdom. You have failed in the kingdom of the waters. You have failed in the kingdom of the land. Makatagada, rasanderebosa, mandeba, rasetereba. I command supernatural speed to come upon me right now. I move ahead of my enemies. I receive the speed of God. From tonight, I decree God's speed has entered into my career. God's speed has entered into my education. God's speed has entered into my business. God's speed has entered into my marriage. God's speed has entered Nashatarara into my ministry. God's speed has entered into my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree the supernatural speed of God is being transmitted to this prayer room and to every individual. My God, I feel something proceeding out from me. Kadaraha, Rashidebo, Rasagadara, Rasagadara, Baba, 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 Mantera, Baba, Katera. Come on, receive the grace of speed tonight. My God, my God, that apostolic word was released and a prophetic decree is being made in this room. My God, I felt my womb opened up and I felt lightning going out from my womb. Yabandibosa, Yerebe Koturagadarabagaraba. Oh God, empower your people with supernatural speed tonight so that we can get things done for your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father my God, I say Lord God Almighty, empower your children tonight so that they can get things done for your kingdom. You said, Lord, when we call unto you, you will answer. I call unto heaven tonight. I call unto the throne of the living God. Father, my God, position your people, Lord God Almighty, tonight. Position them with speed. Lord God Almighty, we are positioned tonight for the next leg of the race. Father, my God, we will receive the baton and we will not drop the baton in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, oh Lord God, position your people. Lord, give me God's power. Lord, tonight I don't want horsepower. Father, my God, I don't want man's power. Mighty God, give me God's power. Give me the speed, Lord God, that you gave to Elijah. I open up, Lord God, the realms of the spirit tonight. And I command the anointing that came upon Elijah to outrun the chariot of a king, to out run Lord God Almighty a souped up chariot mighty Jehovah tonight in the mighty name of Jesus I shall outrun your people shall outrun demonic vehicles your people Lord God Almighty shall outrun demonic chariots they shall outrun demonic war planes they shall outrun demonic lions and demonic cheetahs and demonic cats mighty God of Daniel they shall outrun demonic dogs Rashanderebo Rakasatarabagat Father my God, I activate the laws of elasticity. Lord God, to the degree in which we have been pulled back shall be the degree with which we shall be launched forward. But oh God, I strengthen Lord God Almighty the sling. I strengthen Lord God Almighty the holes of the sling. And I command in the mighty name of Jesus that the power of God shall pull this sling sling and the power of God shall shoot us forward in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, Father, my God, I shoot your people forward beyond their ancestral limitations. I shoot your people forward beyond altar limitations. I shoot your people forward beyond the ministerial limitations. I shoot your people forward beyond every limitation that has been imposed upon our lives. I command limitations broken and I command speed to enter into the lives of God's people right now. I receive vim and vivacity to run into position. I shall take my place at the gate before my enemies. Tonight, Father, my God, I release to divine supernatural enablement in your people's legs to take their 
place right now at the gates to take their place at the gates of justice, at the gates of judgment, at the gates of prosperity, at the gates of decision making, at the gates of grace. Makata gata, reshatombo, rasata rabagata, mande braka sataraba, resetekete, father my God tonight, like a volcano ready to erupt this very second. Ah, Lord God, let this prayer room erupt in speed in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, Lord God Almighty, let this prayer room erupt with speed. I command the grace of speed to be erupted inside of this room in the mighty name of Jesus. I release right now speed. Everything that has been delaying you financially, maritally, spiritually, educationally, career-wise, professionally, in the name of Jesus, be broken right now and receive speed, 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 speed. Speed, 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 speed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive speed in my prayer life. I shall wake up before my enemies begin to plan. Father, my God, I receive speed, Lord God Almighty, in my worship. In the mighty name of Jesus, my tongue shall be on fire with worship. I receive speed in my prayer language. I receive speed, Lord God Almighty, to return my zeal, Lord, and my desire, and my zest, Lord God Almighty, in the kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus, let speed be released into me right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, you caused Aaron, Lord God, his rod, to bud and to blossom and to bear fruit overnight. Mighty God, some of us have been laboring, some of us have sown seed seeds and have not seen any fruit come forth, no reward that has come forth from it. But tonight, as a prophet of God, ordained, commissioned, sent, and appointed by God, I decree right now that the rods of your people shall bud. Lord, it shall blossom and it shall bear fruit overnight. Lord God Almighty, when they wake up in the morning, Lord God, all arguments shall be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every argument against us shall be silenced. Lord, those who are contending with us, Lord God Almighty, for position, those who are contending with us for leadership, those who are contending with us, Lord God Almighty, for our place tonight in the name of Jesus, this very minute, all arguments settled. I release the angels of speed. Let the heavens open up. Yes, Lord God, there are some blessings and some gifts that you have sent a long time ago and the angels have been held up. Oh my God, I thank you for opening my eyes. I decree right now the angels are released from their place of hold up. The angels are released from anywhere that they have been held up. I release them in the atmosphere. Manda kandekete risanta raka. Manda keteza zendorobo sagata. Manda kete masuto brokote. Nagate Sadagataya Nikosoporo Sadagada Mande Katazadie Mondo Sadamba Mande Katazia Tada Kata Zibo Sadanga Zinobro Sadabagata Rasende Katara Rekasazagata Bandu Shekatarababa Rakasagate Gedebo Sabrabara The Angels of Birthright Blessing I release you right now Mante Kaposhe Akabu Shakata Rasagata de Mohosediaya Rasangarandi Rabanda Rabioko Rasindarababa Maseta Badakata The Angels of Promotion I release you Katagate Resatarabagata The Angels of speedy investment. Mandaya kutea nekatazia katagate shakatara resataragandarai resandrebe amburustataraba mandara bengaragata resakatara rasakataya katega de gregosa mante basaya mandara baba 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 rasatagatesha neto brokosata. I command you released right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command money to locate you with speed. I 
command your promises to be fulfilled with speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, O oh God, your people shall operate with divine speed. Tonight, O oh God, your people shall operate with divine speed. God speed. Locate your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the grace of speed. I release the anointing of speed. I release the mantle of speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I break every slowness from your life. I remove it from you. I erase it from you. I erase it out of your foundation. I erase it out of the realms of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that you are fast, that you are moving quicker, that you are moving ferociously quicker. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise upon your people. Lord God Almighty, let your people receive, Lord God Almighty, a prophetic release tonight, even in the same manner that you anointed Elijah to cause him to run some 20 odd miles ahead of the horses of Ahab. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, you will move so fast that your enemies will wonder where you have gone. But tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive lightning speed as fast as the lightning flashes. I command right now that you remove that you will move with speed that is faster than a lightning bolt in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, let your people move with the speed with which you move in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and the people of God say amen. I want you to shout that you have received it. Begin to decree that you have received speed. Speed is yours tonight. Speed is yours tonight. Speed is yours tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are translated from the realm of slowness. You are translated from the realm of lethargy. You are translated from the realm of slowdown into the realm of speed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace of speed is upon you. Receive it tonight. Receive it tonight. You shall recover the years that you have lost. You shall recover every year every hour every minute that has been wasted you shall recover it in the mighty name of Jesus tonight I decree recovery I decree recovery I decree recovery I decree recovery recover the years that your ancestors have wasted recover the years that your parents have wasted recover the years that have been wasted in your life the recover 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 in the mighty name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.